Miles, would you talk about what you see how to um, Justin Herbert over there? What makes him such a tough quarterback to play against? I mean, he's got a, he's got a great arm. He's got a good IQ for a uh, sophomore in the league. Uh, he's got some good coaching to be able to go through his reads and progressions quickly. And then once he doesn't see it, you know, he knows when he can make, uh, knows where his lanes are, knows where he can escape, and, and uh, when he gets through the ball. Miles, what, what did you think of that fourth down pass interference call? <laughs> it was terrible. I mean, you've seen pictures, you've seen videos. It was a terrible call. It is what it is. I mean, refs are, are humans and they make mistakes, but you know, we get held to a high standard and uh, I think high degree of uh, excellence and you know, show some social debt. How does Nick Chubb playing practicing against Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt kind of prepare you guys for the various running backs in the in the league? You get two different styles. You know, two different guys, two different kind of running backs. Uh, I mean, Nick's a little bit smoother. You know, his, his cuts are a little bit different, and uh, you know, Kareem's a little bit more violent. Uh, I mean, it seems like he didn't have an arm in the leg, but he's still trying to fight through. Uh, it seems like you just slide off of the Nick just because he, you know, he just finds a way to, to break a tackle. It's just not as not as uh, ferocious when he runs, but he's still, you know, just as just as tough as a bat, just as tough as a runner. And uh, you know, you you, uh, you see both of those, and I think the only only one on Saturday night that you're you're not going to see is is uh, Henry. I mean, he's just a, a, a class of his own. Does Nick surprise you at all with what? <laughs> The, his consistent production, um, and you, as you say, he's just kind of a, is not really explosive, but he gets the job done. I mean, does this, does that surprise you? No, he's explosive. I mean, it just seems it is so smooth. It doesn't seem that way, and uh, it doesn't surprise me at all. I mean, he's great in college. He's been great ever since he stepped into the league, and uh, you know, he, he studies the game. He works hard at practice every single day. He never takes any time off, and. Uh, it shows. You guys like had a lot of injuries, particularly the secondary. How much stress does that add to the defense when you get down to the bottom? It was tough. As you saw up there, you know, we had some miscommunications, and you know, we had some guys open that really, really hurt us at the end there. And you know, it's, it's tough to get there when you know, the, the quarterback's able to, to spot someone who, uh, who was uh, no one on them. You know, it's just something we got to go back and see. You know, it's, it's tough when you you know you kind of force into the situation. It's a, it's the next man up lead, but you know you know we got to got to work on those situations and uh, be prepared for stuff like that. And I don't I don't fault them for, for not being prepared or uh, not making those plays, but uh, you know, those those guys are professional. You know, stuff happens. What challenge was it to be that clowny, and how did you come out of it physically? We saw you down to it. Keep on, keep on grinding, keep on pushing. It was tough to be a, without JD because uh, you know it helps them uh, key on, key a little bit more on me and the rest of us. And uh, knowing he'll he'll be back soon. And, you know he's he's a force when he's out there, and uh, I know I just had to step my my game up a little bit, a little bit higher when he when he's not out there. And uh, I just couldn't couldn't make it when we when we needed to. When you talk about uh, playing against, lining up against Rashawn Slater, what do you see out of him? And then what, what do you see for Slater in the future? I think he's a good tackle already. I think he's a pretty good tackle in this league. And uh, I, like his, I like his game. Uh, I mean, good set, good hands. I think he's, he's oh, as far as the, the game, speed for him. I think he's got it down. There's some things that he hasn't seen that he'll have to he'll get adjusted to. And uh, I just, just you know, looking forward to see how he, pro he progresses. But he, he's, you know, he's starting off pretty well. And uh, you know, I wish the best for him. Looks like you guys had, had a exchange a few words in the, at the beginning of the game, early, kind of midway through the first quarter. Were you looking for uh, dinner options tonight? Or what, what were you guys talking about, if you will? A little bit saying, you know, appreciate your game. You know, I'm, I'm hoping they uh, keep on you know, having a, a good streak with, with the 
the players he goes against, but not today against me. Miles, five five games into what you guys hope will be a long journey. Just how do you feel about everything in light of how this today went? One more. We got we got beat this week. We got fifty hung on our head and like threw four over four hundred. Not a great showing by the, the defense by any matter. And so gotta go look at the film, see how we can get better, see how we can be uh, a little bit more aggressive, how we can keep keep those throws from getting out and also when when they go in the air, uh, having you know one or two guys, you know, making sure they don't get to their intended receiver. And I know Joe's gonna the same thing. We're all thinking the same thing. That you know, we had more than one opportunity to win this game. You know, we had multiple fourth downs, multiple third third downs where we could go off the field and you know, we didn't make it happen. And so now we gotta go back to the drawing board and see uh, how we can do it next time. Do you think last one for us is a you know similar to Kansas City game? Great quarterback, it's gonna be a lot of points. If you wanna to go to where you wanna go, how do you solve these kind of shootouts? They're great defenses get a lot of points scored on them every week. Uh, gotta get healthy. Gotta okay, have so many injuries you know, going in, have so many injuries during the game and and man, uh, once once those things do happen, gotta gotta have a gotta have a plan and next man up's gotta gotta be ready. You know, we I don't think we're ready as a, a unit after you know, so many guys went down. You know, a lot of a lot of good players for us went down. You know, Denzel early and uh, Malik was in and out. I had a couple players where I was out. And uh, you know, when, when we're down or when we're out for a play or however long, you gotta be able to step up and make it happen. I gotta make it happen when I'm out there. And uh, we just have to that's, uh, do what we're supposed to do. And we are you know, we said this before, there's two or three plays. So it's two or three fourth downs, two or three third downs. You know, we, we make those and it's a different game. And we stop them uh, when we're you know, up, by, up by seven. If we go down and score, it's a different game. And what? Uh, you know, it's, that's just what we got to do. When they're going for it on fourth down uh, a couple times on a, a late in the game, does that kind of uh, sap the momentum out of you guys, or how, how do you uh, how, how do you absorb that when the offense just kind of keeps going for these long fourth down, fourth and seven, fourth and four? And we do the same thing. You know, it's just a matter of uh, situation and you know, seeing if uh, we like the look. And uh, on, on their end, they're probably thinking the same thing. You know, if we have any have any. Uh, Things they're, they're trying to attack, any situation they're trying to attack, and uh, they were able to, to capitalize on a couple of mistakes that we made. But we know that you know, we we'll go back and look at the film and see that you know, we we let up uh, more things, or we gave them more things that they they went and got. Hell, the, I think Joy was right. The refs are give, giving more things than uh, they should have got. But at the end of the day, can't blame them. You know, we're on the field, and you know, we got to make those plays regardless of you know, what they call or don't call. Thanks, Thanks.